you know, I have a predicament. And some of you may have the same predicament. I think a lot of people on the planet have this predicament. They're holding knowledge that they took most of their lifetime, let's say, to accumulate. And you reached a point where you think you have something to teach. But you don't want to do it in the methodology that you had growing up in a normal government institutionalized indoctrination program. You would like to connect deeper with people to really find out who they are, find out what their gifts are, and support them to bring their magic into the world. Now, I've been working on a, a system and a set of tools to do so. That if you learn it, your ability to learn, create, communicate, and heal is going to be amplified at the individual, the team, family, organization, and community levels. So we're talking about a comprehensive system something that transforms your mind gives you a blueprint for the future and gives you control of the design of the inside of your mind and this is very important once we go down the road seeing how to move our species to a good direction but one where every individual makes a choice to participate in a love-based paradigm rather than a fear-based paradigm. Wait a second. This is where we are. We're right in the middle. We're right here in the present moment. And over here we have a new paradigm of love, the future. And over here we have an old paradigm of fear the past and in the present moment choose which one of these we want to play in which one of these we want to participate in which one of these is going to be the direction that we go together that's the big choice right now for everybody My predicament does not involve the one ring. My predicament actually has to do with this freaking button and hitting it with my freaking finger the freaking time and I should be freaking doing it, but it's not freaking doing it. You know what I freaking mean? Frick. Oh man. The world is in deep peril, and some people know about it, but most people seem to have no idea about what is actually occurring on the planet at this time because of the intensity of the disinformation program put forth by the frickin' nutballs. We've got to keep our eyes on the frickin' nutball. you got to know who the bad guy is. You got to know who's the one coming at you. And if they have a plan to have you think it's other people and they can never get identified, well, that's a strategy. And if you are one of the ones being duped, like everybody, then that's a problem that we got to deal with together, right? I see myself as the wizard. Yes, and to be a wizard, you know, to kind of need an understanding of time, need an understanding of uh, what's going on with time in a manner that most people have no idea about. And so I want to share some of the time translation skills so we can start to have some real fun. Who do you want to be? Who's the character that you're going to be in this story? 
It's a story about superheroes saving the world and each person finding their true superhero-ness. This whole very secret plan is about you deciding to participate in the very secret plan and helping out to save us from the freaking nutballs. It's time. Sometimes life is just sitting and waiting, thinking you made the big decision between the red pill and the blue pill, but your life is actually a very mundane, dull existence where not much occurs, and you're bored out of your fucking mind, right? Time to, uh... We need to learn how to organize. We need to learn how to share the same reference point in the mind and in the maps, and have that as the way that we bring together larger and larger teams of people all across the world, but very organized, very focused on getting shit done. Shaking in 3D glasses are at the bottom of the whole planet. Starts with music, starts with changing how you see the world. You don't have these that really be considered part of the planet. Whenever you see somebody with these glasses and the shaker, you know they're planetary guardians. You know they're in the very secret plan. They're on your side. A lot of people on your side, right? Getting back to time, this is the time stream. This diagram shows how to connect nine cycles of time together and a way to reorganize your mind so that you can be in the flow with your higher gifts, doing what you want, going where you want, working with amazing people, changing the freaking world. Yeah. Jose Arguez said that as space is to the body, time is to the mind. So you change your mind into cyclical time. You give yourself a methodology to add that to levels of consciousness bringing together cycles of time and levels of consciousness in one map for your mind to actually get a good foundation of how to go forward. How important is your mind? How important is your thinking? How important is your ability to communicate? How important is your ability to design future ideas that you can bring into manifestation with yourself and with teammates? How important are these things to you? The world is changing. The ability of the screen to interact with the human being for it to be two-way now, custom designable, anyone to anybody, doing whatever we want, changing the nature of how we communicate, changing the nature of how it is to be human. And let's say without the need to 
danger or harm or steal or use violent means towards any other human, either through overt or covert, either in the open or in deception. That seems like a, a thing most humans could agree to. Seems like a good idea. No need to get violent. No need to steal at the national level, especially. The United States has never been addressed on its use of weapons of mass destruction, which never showed up as the reason why they invaded. And just like every war, if you go behind the scenes, you realize it's just grand theft and ruining people's lives. So a few people hidden somewhere else can make a shitload of money at the expense of the rest of the world. That's the real problem. If you continue to address the symptoms don't address the real cause, the real problem, you'll always remain confused. You will always lose. You have to act intelligently. You have to act wisely or else all will perish. There is a way for all of us to become very wealthy if we just learn how to work together in a new way. Look what's happening on the internet. The vault is what contains the individuals, the teams, families, organizations, and communities, online assets that different people can get different access to. That's the future, how we organize that. First thing you gotta do is you gotta turn this off. You gotta switch the TV off. The TV has to go. The TV has to go. Stop watching corporate media. Stop it. The news doesn't exist anymore. You have to learn to write your own script. Why doesn't the moon rotate? Why doesn't anyone ask that question? The freaking same side of the moon is always facing us. That just doesn't make freaking sense. You've got to focus on what's real. You know, have to remember we are in a big mind, which means learning how to think differently together in a place that has some self-reflective properties, meaning we are mirroring each other and our lessons in life are in our experience with each other. And we need to understand that our karma and our dharma comes together in the present moment with conscious choice and where we're going to place our attention and which paradigm we're going to participate in consciously as an aware human being who takes responsibility for their actions, for their emotions, for their thoughts, for their entire being and decides to be a warrior for good decides to be a spiritual activist, decides to be a Jedi Knight, decides to be a catalyst of change, decides to be somebody who outside of the wording is here to assist the species to go forward in a good direction, good for all beings, good for themselves and good for everybody else and good for the planet. This seems like a very strong choice to make these days and you got to do it in such a way where we're seeing the unity of the species we're seeing the need of the moment the problems but we're answering it with more holistic larger approach methodology right not just with the symptoms when you think at the universal level when you think at the unitive level when you think at a level that is higher than just you because deep down, every human has a lot of thinking about themselves. And that self-reference point is fine to a certain degree, but at some point, it becomes a great limitation when really trying to understand how we're all going to 
work together and live together on this planet together in a manner that honors all this diversity that we have, but brings into account that each human being has certain rights that needs to be protected. And uh, if oppressive governments are coming in with uh, insane laws to humans across the planet right now, that has to be stopped. And that's what this is part of. We have to start rise up together to protect ourselves. But we've been trained to obey external authority figures. We have been indoctrinated over and over and over and over again to obey someone outside of ourselves first, as opposed to our own intuition and our own knowing about what is good for us, rather than for some outer authority or supreme leader hidden in some room somewhere that's dictating orders all the way down that affect us to a great degree, that we don't want to do that anymore. There is nothing between us and the Almighty. There's no government or priest or anything in between the individual and our connection to creator of the universe. And what's happening is this institution called the government, which is run by a bunch of thieves for hundreds of years that use usury to create interest on interest, to control central banks, and to basically run our money system so they can fleece out all the real wealth and uh, we get all the debt. You got to get that part. Stop trusting them. Trust way too much. Do you think this is healthy? Yeah, look who many, look at all the people doing it. Just to fit in. You want to know who your masters are? Look at the ones you can't criticize. Look at the ones who use laws to defend themselves. Think about what's happening right now all around the world. They call it the Great Reset or the next biggest scam. They lie, they lie, they lie. Oh, they lie, they lie, they lie. It's all about the money. Who gets money? Who here really trusts the international bankers to look after the good of our species? Huh? Because that's a big question. Do you trust these uh, freaking nutballs? You think they're going to help out our species, do you? Good luck on that one.